While many of us love our pets, we love them like our kids. That's why tonight a Bay Area family is so upset. They trusted a Tampa pet hotel to care for their beloved dogs and say one of them got attacked by a pit bull. This isn't the first time that Ted News has told you about the problems at Tyvee. The dog's owner reached out to Kendra Conlon to get some answers. I've nicknamed him Wolverine because this is where you can see the hair starting to grow over it, but I mean, it was the size of a golf ball. So there was 22 stitches, uh, both internal and external. Josh Hawes says this is what happened to his golden retriever pup Blanton at Tyvee Pet Hotel. 45 minutes after he and his wife dropped off their two dogs for the day, they got a call. A pit bull took a bite out of his leg in the play yard. Him and another dog, you know, got into a fight, they were playing, and then all of a sudden, you know, it seemed that it, it escalated pretty quickly. You know, one of my babies has been, you know, basically attacked. Hawes says staff didn't rush him to the hospital. In fact, a friend made it to the hotel and the dog was still there. You know, bandages on this thing and they literally are having him walk out to the truck and then he sees him like jump up into the truck. Hawes says he never got a call from management as promised. It's just kind of shocking, right? Like how do you not have the wherewithal, especially if it's an attack by a pit? Requested video and the incident report haven't been delivered, and workers told him they'd cover the $900 vet bill. That still hasn't happened. That is not how you handle this situation. They told Josh that they were going to take care of it, and since then there's been no outreach whatsoever to honor that agreement. The family now says Tyvee won't return calls, only sending them these terms and conditions saying Tyvee is not liable for injuries. But their attorney believes the pet hotel is still on the hook for what happened to Blanton. Right, yeah, no, it is, it's still negligence. It's a, it's a failure to provide reasonable care to someone that they've agreed to provide care to. I tried to get answers from staff. We have I'm been sorry, contacted on and on and that ab about what happened. I'm sorry, I can't. And a spokeswoman at company headquarters in Michigan said she'd get back to me. They've requested surveillance video. They've requested um, an incident report. Hawes says it may come down to a lawsuit to help protect other pets. Enough's enough. Like, people do need to know. It's, it's looking to do the right thing for somebody that's a part of your family. In Tampa, Kendra Conlin, 10 News. Well, says Tyvee's only gesture so far. Refunding him $70 for the 45 minutes the two dogs spent there and two free night stays. They won't be back. In Florida, grooming or boarding facilities don't need a license unless performed at a vet clinic. Now, customers can file a business complaint with the Department of Agriculture. We also checked with the Better Business Bureau. And Tyvee doesn't have any reviews. Now, we mentioned this isn't the first time that we've reported on problems at Tyvee. In March, Elkie Griffith told us the pet hotel took her dog off property for a walk without her permission. The business's lead snapped from the dog. Blue ran out into Del Mabry and was hit and killed. She's suing, but in Florida, a pet is considered property. Owners can't recoup more than the cost of the dog and the death expenses. That's something she's petitioning lawmakers to change and has more than a thousand signatures on her Facebook page, Justice for Blue. She's also documented Tyvee removing negative online reviews.